are everyone, it is Hyperforce, so welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach, and today you guys are joining me on day number 4 of the Boom Beach Challenge Week, and today I got something pretty interesting on the menu, Grenadiers! I first said I was going to be doing Grenadiers and Medics, but then I thought only Grenadiers is even more fun, because, well, only Grenadiers is kind of keeping the tra tradition intact of me using only Grenadiers, and I actually recorded a video uh, earlier today with me using Grenadiers and Medics. As a matter of fact, I just finished the recording five minutes ago, and I took down a couple of bases, which was pretty interesting, but the face cam was not recording, so I just removed everything, and I'm gonna give you guys a little recap of what we did. But in today's episode, we're gonna be attacking with Ona Grenadiers, and let's actually bring up the text right now. So... Big bada boom! I must be drunk or something. Well, that's not what it says, but uh, you know the Grenadiers by now, right? Okay, so the Grenadier is a big and powerful range unit that deals area damage rather inaccurately. Be careful about sending troops in front of him as they might get caught in the grenade blast. So let's take a look at my final attack that I did today. Which I think was pretty interesting. We destroyed a level 45 base. Uh, we, do, we also took down Dr. Terror to level 5 with Grenadiers and Medics. So let's go ahead and view the battle right now. So, uh, very spread it out base. Decided to go with the uh, Shock Launcher. Shock Launcher doing a lot of damage. Uh, actually being annoying. Accidentally dropped the Flare. Also went with the Shock Blaster. Shock Blaster also pretty annoying. And then uh, after this, we'll just have to see what's going to be happening. I'm not sure. Gone with the Doom Cannon. Dropped two artilleries and one barrage to wipe it out. And then it's about time to get stuff on the road. Now the thing that I did was critters are practically useless with grenadiers. Because, well, grenadiers hit their own units. So the critters are dying, not because of the opponent's defenses, but because of my own grenadiers. Which kind of sucked. But, you know, uh, we're having a really great run on this one. Let's take a look. I'm flaring to the left side. Rocket launchers cannot do anything because, you know... Uh, medics are doing their own stuff. So right now I'm in a in a perfect position as you guys might imagine Look at this. We still have all grenadiers alive at this moment here. So we're doing really well uh, First rocket launch is about to get taken down I think right now they're gonna be focusing or trying to focus it still takes like a good 20 seconds uh, as a matter of fact the one over here got taken down first, but then we got in range, which kind of sucks. I was hoping for a grenadier free kind of run. Uh, we took out down the, the, the boom cannon, went to the top there, and decided to take down everything just like that. It was a very nice takedown. I very much enjoyed this attack. And as you guys can see, going to the headquarters and actually taking down the, the base like a boss. So yeah. It was a very nice attack, but unfortunately we still lost a couple of units. I'm pretty sure that you guys are curious to know how we went on Dr. Terror as well. So we actually lost 6 Grenadiers on this attack. And let's see how we went ahead and do this one. So what I went for is the Shock Launcher. Because Shock Launchers are uh, going to be in the way. They're actually going to be hitting us from a far away distance. This was a mistake. I deployed them a little bit early. That caused them to get a lot of damage from the Flamethrower. I should have shocked those, but yeah, you know what? It doesn't even matter. They kind of split up onto two parts. Decided to drop some critters onto that rocket launcher over there, as you guys saw. I should have waited a single second longer because then these buildings were going to be gone. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Making my way to the left back side. As you guys can see, we're taking out a lot of sniper towers, machine guns, flamethrowers, some mortars even. Uh, even a cannon over there that's going to be doing damage onto my grenadiers. Moving to the left side, taking care of the sniper tower. Then moving to the back there. Look at all of those... Uh, free supplies. There's eight boxes that we can pick up there. 24 free gunboat energy. Always a good thing. Then making my way to the back of the base. Going slowly but surely to the headquarters. Nothing can really stop me right now. And that is kind of how we took out this base. Decide to drop some critters on there. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, stage number, sec uh, stage number six is obviously going to be impossible for me to take down. But on this one, we had seven seconds left. So, yeah, that's how you know you had a good attack. Okay, so that's the attacks that we don't. We've been pretty successful, but today we're going to be doing an operation attack with only Grenadiers. And I know which one we're going to be attacking. Right now, MK is attacking Duality. I will actually want to be spectating this one a little bit first to see how he's going to be doing right now. What does he have deployed? Uh, Zuka's in the front trying to take out the headquarters and nothing's really hitting it. So I suppose that's a great thing. Got wiped out. Can I actually do that? That might be interesting. Doing the same thing. What is the range? 
The range is um, okay. Now, how much health do you have? 500k. Now, that's gonna take a long time. Someone else is gonna take it down. You see the little satellite at the bottom of the screen. It is Galahad Lee, which is taking out that base. So, of course, it, it goes there right now. And um, Zuka's gathering up together down there. Very nice strategy, for sure. Getting them all together. But, it is my time on Commander. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I have everything boosted up. I have my uh, gunboat energy, my uh, troop damage and, and troop health as well. I have it all boosted up. So let's take a look at Commander. Here we go. Grenadier attack. Now we gotta be a little bit careful because there is a rocket launch over there which is gonna be doing a lot of damage on us. So we're gonna be going to the left side. Then we gotta be flaring to the left. To the left back side. I'm going to speed this part up because it's pretty straightforward. So while we're in the process of making a way up there, I want to be getting some critters over there to see what the range of the rocket launcher is exactly. Okay, so right around where this little pile of rubble is, is where we can get our units. Before we need to smoke. Because we obviously are going to have to smoke. And we're going to be smoking right here. First smoke, initiate. Second smoke, get there. Third smoke, do your thing. Get smoky. No. Smoke. Guys, smoke. Smoke. Oh my days. That is totally insane. We actually made it, guys. We actually made it. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we made it up there. Which is cool. So now, I'm gonna be getting some critters in there. Oh, we're getting hit. It's just a tiny bit, though. It is just a tiny bit. That gets hit. Shock. Grenadiers, do your thing. Shock the mortars. Take care of the mortars. Take them out. Oh, look at this. This is actually a really cool sight. Take it out, please. Take out the take out the mortars. Yes. First one gets taken out. Now the second one too. Dropping the artillery on it as well. To kind of take care of it. It is going to be hitting my critters. Uh, critters. What am I saying? Critters. It is going to be hitting my units. This one over here as well. Is it in range? I am honestly not even sure if it is in range or not. It's totally insane though. They're just going to do their own thing. They're going to mind their own business. I'm kind of hoping to take it out. So that way we can focus. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That is... Get in there, guys. Get to the back. Get to the back. You don't want to be getting wiped out by that. Wipe out the cannon, maybe. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> that rocket launcher uh, Someone actually warned me already for that I just wanted to see how this one's gonna be going It is an interesting attack to say in the least Obviously not very efficient uh, By the looks of it But uh, can we take out this uh, This power cell Not very likely I think Can we take out something else You know what I'll just speed this up And you guys can watch for yourself what's gonna be happening here And I'll just stare at my screen Take it out, take it out, take it out. Ah. So yeah, there we go. We took down five buildings. Well, that went great, now didn't it? <laughs> I will attack after Raph. Well, yeah. Drunken fellow grenadier. That's that's what they are. Alright, let's see if we have a couple of interesting attacks in here. Um, Armadillo took out... Um, Armadillo was taken out by Boom Radar. He literally only had seven grenadiers, uh, medics. Oh, battery. Oh, we cannot upgrade for... We cannot continue the episode for a long time because I have my Elgato uh, connected to my um, to my iPad. And it doesn't charge up whenever I do that. But, uh, wow. we the, the, the recording might just cut out as well entirely. But I don't know. Let's see what happened here before. Because I'm pretty sure Boom Radar used an attack to, uh, to wipe this one out. Um... 
I think Nyx is always doing very interesting attacks. He went full boost with this one. So I'm really curious to know what he what he took down. Uh, my task force members always say, please feature the attacks of Nyx because he's a very pro attacker. So let's see if he can live up to his name with this very attack. Artillery is onto rocket launchers. Always an interesting attack strategy. Wipes all of them out with four artillery. Getting some critters onto the mines over there. Interesting. What is going to be happening right now? I'm curious to know, honestly. Work your way up there. Smokey. Smoke, 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 smoke. Very nice smoking. Then, working your way up there. Smoke, 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 smoke. And then, what are you going to be uh, shocking? That is going to be the interesting question here. Shock, shock. Shock. Rocket launch, probably. Yeah. Oh my days. That is awesome. That's freaking insane. He didn't manage to take it out. But look how, how much damage he did with one attack. That's really insane. Awesome attack from Nyx for sure. And let's actually go ahead and watch one more attack. Before we're going to be wrapping this episode of here. So um, you know what? I'm just going to be featuring the attack of Ultimate Emo. He had no units left. He took down the base. But he had no units left. Oh. Wait. Huh? What? Let's see how this one went down. So he goes with the Smoky Hookah attack. Smoky Zooka attack. Goes to the Sniper Tower. So far, it's still within a nice walking path. A couple of them get hit by Sniper Towers, but you know what. It doesn't even matter. Goes a little bit in front of the Shock Launchers. There's six of them. People are crazy. Like, nothing is damaged, but the, the core is almost dead. That's my task force for you. So let's see what happens here. This is gonna be crazy. Zhoop. And, oh, oh, the clutch, oh, the clutch, oh, my God, boom, <laughs> that is an amazing attack, Emo, I gotta say, that is an amazing attack, no units left, only three critters, you can say three critters took down the base, those are the MVPs, those are, those are gonna be going home as heroes, taking down Tarsier as the base, but yeah, that's gonna be doing it, I have attacked with Grenadiers, and a little bit later today, I'll be back again, attacking resource bases with Grenadiers, I hope you guys are looking forward to that, that being said, as always, make sure if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up, and that, uh, yeah, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach, I'm gonna be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.